I tried to do this quietly, so as to not interrupt her nap, and I failed. But that's enough bad news. Are you ready for some good news? First up, scientists have found the region of the brain responsible for the placebo effect. Scientists from Northwestern Medicine and the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago studied the brains of test subjects using functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, in order to identify which parts of the brain activated when subjects were in pain and when the subject experienced pain relief after swallowing a placebo pill. They identified an area of the midfrontal gyrus that activated when 95% of participants in the study experienced the placebo effect. Understanding and being able to predict the placebo effect helps scientists to better understand how the brain deals with pain. That could lead to more effective treatments for chronic pain and save patients the time and expense of going through ineffective treatments. This study is published in the journal PLUS Biology. Next up, more brain-related news, as geologists have discovered the first ever specimen of fossilized dinosaur brain. The fossil was found in Sussex, England in 2004. It's thought to belong to a species closely related to Iguanodon, a genus of large herbivorous dinosaurs that lived approximately 130 million years ago. It's thought to be a piece of the animal's meninges, the membrane that surrounds the brain. Examination of the fossil using a scanning electron microscope also revealed strands of collagen and blood vessels. Fossils of soft tissue are extremely rare. It's hypothesized that this dinosaur died near a highly acidic body of water, which essentially pickled the brain tissue, preserving it long enough for it to mineralize before decaying. The structure of the dinosaur brain fossil shows similarities to the brains of modern-day birds and crocodiles. The results of this study are published in a special publication of the Geological Society of London. And finally, one more brain-related story, as researchers may have found a way to predict types of dementia before they develop. Researchers at the University of Texas Southwestern's Peter O'Connell Brain Institute have concluded a study which they say demonstrates that the type of dementia a given patient develops is determined by the structure of the toxic proteins which form in the brain. The neurofibrillary tangles associated with numerous neurodegenerative diseases are composed of aggregations of tau protein. According to this study, the forms these tau protein aggregations take as they grow are what determine which neurodegenerative disease develops and how fast it progresses. The results of this study help to explain why there are so many different types of dementia related to tau protein aggregation. More importantly, they also point the way toward diagnosing these diseases earlier, predicting their progression more accurately, and hopefully treating them more effectively. This study was published in the journal Neuron. Scientists find the part of the brain that controls the placebo effect, geologists discover the first ever fossilized dinosaur brain, and researchers learn more about the development and progression of neurodegenerative disorders. That's the good news. Hey folks, I'm going to go ahead and assume that I speak for Adi here when I say that I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.